Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, today I want to show you this cool little um, hidden lock system, this hidden key uh, system. It's uh, it's it's totally hidden. So, um, essentially, you specify a key. I've specified Nether Wart, so you can you can rename an item if you want, um, or you can use anything, obviously. Um, and it will only accept that. So, say if we grab like some stone. And try to throw a stone on on here, then it won't accept it, which means that anyone that passes by and accidentally throws an item won't suspect anything when it get if it gets sucked up, so it won't get sucked up. But if you throw the specific item, then it will get sucked up, and you get a pulse just right there. Um, now this is a two tick pulse, which means that pistons or sticky pistons will uh, function normally, um, and that is that um they will, you know, extend and retract, but if you want to, you know, say make a, a T flip-flop out of this, then you can just put it on one tick and it'll spit out its block, um, just like any uh, one tick pulse. Um, anyway, let's go on to the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to prepare an area that's three by seven blocks uh, and then it's your ground level is uh, six blocks up, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so this will be your ground level. So if you're, uh, you know, digging this out, then it's a um, it's a three by seven by six hole. Um, so then you want to uh, just pull this down like that, um, and you want to be left with these two hoppers, one that faces into the next one, which just faces out. Um, and then you want to put a whoops, you want to put a detector rail just right here, um, and you want to take an output from that just like this. You want to take two blocks out uh, and pull it down, and you want to put a couple of redstone dust just there. Uh, then you want to make a little monostable socket right here falling edge so you put the repeater on this side but you put it on two ticks we'll put it on two ticks this time uh, and then we come down here just wrap this around here uh, and then just make this sort of L shape and come up a block just right there so that it's it should be touching this well, I guess not, not touching but it should be next to this hopper right here uh, and then you want to come around here, um, go, oops, go up like this, and like this, uh, and then up two, and up two, so you end up with this kind of zigzag pattern. Um, now on this you want to put redstone going all the way here, uh, and put a repeater set to one tick just right there, uh, and then you want to have redstone coming out of this, put a redstone torch just right here and then a redstone just diagonal to it which is getting power from this block here. Uh, now you want to put a sticky piston that just chills right here. Uh, it'll extend and you want to make sure that you put a block just next to this uh, hopper right here so that when this piston retracts this uh, rail will have something to sit on. Alright, so then the only thing left to do is to just take uh, an output from here, a comparator, uh, and if uh, you want to put a repeater here. Now, if you want to be a one tick pulse, um, which will actually cause pistons to spit out their blocks, if you attach a piston directly to this, uh, then just leave it here. But if you want it to be a, um, a two tick pulse, so you know the things will function normally, uh, then you can have have it like this, and then you you'd run that into a pulse extender if you wanted to. Um, so then you want to put a hopper minecart here, and then you know, think of what what, you, what your key is. So you can put a um, anvil down there if you want to rename it. Just get like a I don't know, birch sapling. We'll get a bunch of birch saplings actually, uh, and rename them all to something like uh, like the key, um, and then. We can fill this up. Um, fill this up to 
uh, 19, that'll just pulse once, so that'll get this down to 18. Uh, and then, you know, fill the rest up, obviously, because we don't want anything else. You don't want to be able to drop anything else on this. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's basically it. Um, you can hook this up to anything you want, uh, like a door or whatever. Uh, and just to check that it works, we'll just put that there. Yep, we got an output and just check again that it um, did the, it took it out properly. Yep, alright, cool. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. See ya.